What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have an Attack on Titan 1 Mikasa. Mikasa Sukasa. Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, Mikasa from Attack on Titan. So she's uh, in sort of attack mode. Uh, she's kind of flying in the air. Uh, we got some of her, her blade just over this side. Her, her head is here and another arm coming down sort of here and some of her body here as well. So I'm using a white page to fit in that sword of hers. And we're gonna start just above halfway. So the middle. So we're in the middle vertically. Up a bit. And above halfway. So that's about the halfway point across for me. So I'm coming up and then I'm coming over to start that right eyelid. So what you gotta do is curve a line. So we're gonna start this curved line coming across here for the top eyelid, like that. And of course, Mikasa has eyelashes and stuff. So like this end could be a spiky eyelash and then you just thicken up this part a little bit, just make it a bit thicker on the end. like that. So it kind of looks like it's got kind of a bit of a hook or something coming coming on the end of it. Then her iris and her pupils. So we have iris here. So coming down and it doesn't it meets her bottom eyelid here. So her bottom eyelid comes across like so. Just like that. And then the other side of her iris comes in there. And then her pupil in here. And dark black inside. Just kind of a long skinny pupil there. And on the bottom of her eyelid, the bottom eyelid, we can add just a couple of eyelashes. Just a couple of triangles just coming off just to show some eyelashes there on the bottom. Like so. Then her eyebrow. So <clears throat> very thin eyebrows. So just a sort of a tick starting just about here. And it's gonna just go up this direction. Like so. Might be slightly thicker on the end here. Like that. And then there's an eyelid line just in here. So we go up and then we bring it across the top like so. So then our other eye. So your eye distance across. So if you measure her eye, the Attack on Titan characters are usually in proportion. So the eye, you could fit one more eye in between these eyes. So you're just gonna start the next eyelid line. Just there. So it's about eye distance. And then this is gonna curve across. So we're gonna bring it across. Don't worry if your eyes are not exactly the same. They don't really need to be. So this one curving across like so. So less of a curve than that one. On mine, but that's going to be fine. And we're just making this end a bit pointier, different to this side now, because I think her head is a bit turned this way, only slightly, won't make much of a difference. And then a line coming off here. And some of this eyelid comes down the back like so. And then just like the other eye, we have her iris. So it's just a line down like so. And just down here, it meets the bottom eyelid. So it curves across like this, underneath. And then the other side of the iris is just here as well. Like so. And then there might be some eyelash lines just coming down from that. Yeah. 
and then her pupil in there. So she's skinny, sort of cat-like eyes. They're not round pupils. Like so. So you, uh, maybe I'll just thicken up this eyelid a little bit. Like so. And boom. Okay, so her other eyebrow just here starts about here and then it's going to tick up this direction. It's going to go all the way over like that and maybe a bit thicker on the bottom here. Remember guys, if I go too fast, just hit your pause button and I would suggest a pencil and then you can put ink over after. So our top eyelid then comes out from here, like so. And then, so her nose, right, so we have her chin is like, so her nose is about here. So you want it to be halfway between her chin and her eyes. So her chin is gonna be down around here. That's where I'm gonna put it anyway. So that's gonna be her chin. So then you want the nose to be about halfway between the chin and the eyes, approximately. Just about here. Doesn't have to be exact. So we're gonna put a line just for the side of her nose there. And then a nostril line just here. We might see a line just for the bridge of her nose. It just goes underneath her hair, so we don't see much of it. So it's just like that. And then her mouth. Fairly simple, it's just two sort of lines on the side, so one here, and one coming down the other side, just about here. And then she has just a line for her bottom lip, just under there. About here. Like so. So barely, barely drawn in these features of Mikasa. They're just little dashes and sort of lines that don't quite connect. Now, so her chin, just down here, so real pointy chin. So we're gonna go down to here and then back up the other side. So this side of her face goes underneath her hair. So it's gonna go off this way like so and it meets her hair just here so we have say a line for her hair that curves down like so and then this side now we can see some of her cheek because her head is a little bit turned this way so this is gonna curve like so. And then it's gonna curve around her face, up this way. So slightly different to this side now. So it's gonna curve in and back around, up towards her eye then. So we're gonna go up this way. And then we go underneath her hair, about here, right beside her eyelash. <coughs> And then her fringe comes down then across her face. So it's gonna come down, say here. To a spike just down here. And this is gonna go all the way up to the middle of her head. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna go all the way, curving up to about here. 
And then she has another piece of hair that curves back inside. So it's going to go this direction. Like so. And then it's going to spike up across her nose this way. So we're going to go this way. So, and then we have another spike that comes down just inside her eye here as well, kind of a smaller one, just to there, and then spikes up again, inside, touches her eyebrow, <clears throat> and then curves up to about here. And then we have another spike that comes down just across her eye, just here. Touches the top of her eye, comes up this side. And then it's gonna come down across her face, beside it here, curving down this way. And this one is on her face, just here. Like so. Okay, we can see some of her ear just in here. Sorry, I just, I fixed the, just the line, added the line a bit lower just there, that's all. I just thought her forehead looked a bit big. Okay, so now Mikasa has hair spikes that go all the way around her head, so she's sort of flying through the air so some of these spikes are like wavy right on top but um, we'll do our best so let's see so we have down here we have another one spiking down this way and then it spikes back up like so and they kind of follow this shape all the way back into the middle of her head <coughs> so that's one and then So we have a little connector bump just there and then another spike coming down here and then back up like so. Another spike coming down here and then this one goes up into there and then we have a smaller spike just here. This spike comes up like so. Some of these might go a bit longer. And then we have a spike that sort of kicks out this direction. So it's gonna go like out this way and then back in. Back in and up this way. <clears throat> then we have another sort of bump just here. And then we have another spike coming down behind this one. So it comes down just this way. And then goes back up. So there. And then we get these pieces of hair that are like uh, waving and sort of flying all over the place because she's um, flying through the air. So. So we've got one. So we've got one coming out just here, like so. And then 
this comes back in up into here and then the next piece of hair comes up along this way like this And then we have another line carving in that way. And now we have a big spike that's gonna come down along here, just in front of her arm. So it's gonna go down like so. And then it's gonna go back up, back up and in. her head just in here it's a real big one it's now a big one comes out from the center of her head there and comes back in real big this one So, and there might be a line just in here. Maybe you want to come in, connecting them just there. And then another hair spike going off this way. Goes right off my page there, I can't see it. Comes back in to here. Meets another one sticking up this way. Then this one comes down like so. So you can see what I mean now by sort of the hair going all over the place. It's kind of like whoosh, blowing in the wind. We've one just sticking up on its own, a small one. Like so. And then we're gonna start coming down the other side of our head now. So we're gonna bring it down like this. And then we have a spike. And then this starts to travel down this way. And we have another hair spike here. Another one here. Coming down now and joining up together with these here. So this is gonna come to a spike just down here. And another one just there. Like so. So. That's her hair, it's a bit tricky because you're kind of trying to get the effect that it's kind of blowing and moving in the wind. But uh, yeah, there we go, so let's go. So we have her scarf just coming down from her cheek just here, just up near her ear. It's gonna come down Right, touch your hair, come in this direction. And then in here we can just see some of her neck. So we have a curve line just there. And then the rest of the scarf is gonna come across underneath her chin, um, back up into her hair, just in there. And we can see maybe a, a neckline just here, maybe, maybe one coming that way. And then a line just for a fold for her scarf just here. And then the next layer of her scarf just coming down from that one. And it's gonna curve around up to there. And it's gonna meet her jacket just here. So we're straight line down. And then this kind of curves around this way and comes down towards the rest of her body. So, so this is like the inside part of her jacket. It goes up underneath her hair. Her shoulder then is over here. So it's gonna come down from her hair all the way up here. 
and it's going to come down like so. Like here. So this is like her arm going off this way. And this is some of her jacket. So say the inside of her arm would be in here, but we'll do the outside first. So we're fo folding, bending, doing all these fold lines and stuff for her clothes. So her arm's going all the way off the, towards the corner of the page here. And these are all like fold lines on her clothing. And then the inside of her arm is just See, see here. So this is going to go this direction, following this one, getting slightly narrower as we go down, like so. Okay, and then there might be the odd fold line on her on her clothing just here just to show some bumps and folds on her uniform so and then you finish off her jacket just right here so it comes down to a bit of a v just here it goes back up to there of course there's all pockets and stuff inside there but i'll, I'll come back to that and do it in a minute Right, so then her, <clears throat> what we can see of her waist. So just coming down from here, side of her body, two bumps for a belt, and then her hips coming off down here. So then the other side of her body comes out from underneath her scarf. So there's a bit of a scarf sort of um, blowing in the the wind as well so say the top of it comes off this way and then we have some ends you know some the wavy ends that scarves have coming out kind of like fingers just coming out around here you could do this anyway really because <clears throat> they're moving in the wind so if it doesn't look exactly like mine it's fine and then this is going to come down and then go back up towards the inside of her scarf, just here, so. Like so. And then her body now is gonna come down from here, so. So we have her chest, so just here. So we have a curved line. Going this way. And then this is gonna come down a bit lower, like that. So her body is at an angle, so the line is going this way. So that's why we're going down this direction. And then this curves around under here. Under her jacket. And then, so the side of her body and her shirt comes down just from under here. So we have a curve line coming down this way. comes down like so and then that meets the belt that's like coming across her body like here so there is a belt somewhere I'm sure there is <laughs> so. yeah so there's a belt buckle just like about here So it's just like a rectangle, just there. And then this curves up towards the side of the belt here. At the bottom of the belt then. It's just underneath that. So that means this comes up at an angle up to here, I think, yeah, comes up 
this way. And she has actually the belt, this, this side of the belt should come up a bit further up here. So it's gonna actually curve from here and go up under her jacket. Or it's like there's two layers to her costume. It's either her belt or her costume. It's a very dark image, it's hard to see. So I think this is her belt. Actually, yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense. Sorry about that. So her belt is actually going up more of an angle underneath her jacket just there. And see, this is like another layer of her clothing. So like, I think it's like shorts or trousers or something. And then her belt on the other side comes up this way. So we're gonna go up into here. And then her hip on this side comes out like so. It comes down off the page there like that. And then this buckle is like double. So it's a metal buckle. So it has two lines like so. Button there. And she's got suspenders on. So we have gotta do those just in here, curve them down around like so. And then another set of suspenders just coming in this way. Curving down to here, down around like so. And then, so her shirt, so we have the inside line of her shirt, so just here, the bit with the buttons on it. So it's gonna come down, it's gonna bump and wave every now and then. And then we have some buttons on this. So one, two, three. And then on her top portion, it's moved over a little bit because it goes up and around her chest. So it's in, say here. And she has a strap that goes across the top of her body up here as well. It's like another belt, just like this. So it's gonna come down this way. And it's gonna go underneath her jacket, just around here. And you might be able to see a little bit of the buckle just in there, like so. And then the top of that strap just in here. And maybe some lines and stuff on it. And there's a button down here and some fold lines on her clothing, just like so. Another fold here. Here and folds coming across this way, and one here as well. And I think there are some fold lines just coming down along her hip crease, just here as well. But, uh, but it's difficult to see. Then of course on the suspender part you can rub out the suspenders are coming coming across the top of the belt so you can rub out those lines. Okay, so I know there's a lot of detail to this one, but try your best. So on this part of her jacket, right, so we have her lapel, so we have a V that comes down here. And this comes across like so. Comes down to a second lapel. And then this is gonna come down to the side of her jacket all the way to here. And then we have an edge to it just here. There's a pocket right in here. So it sort of joins, the side of it joins her shoulder just here. Comes up like so, it's just a box. We all know what pockets look like, so just here. Look like that. And then this comes across, and then a button inside there. Uh, 
we have a section just on her shoulder which is like a military style thing so it's got like a buckle just here or a strap and then there's another strap underneath so this comes up touches her hair there's a button right there and then this comes up this direction and then the other side of that comes down into here back across back under and then the top line for her shoulder just comes down towards the pocket another crease that way and then just at the top corner of the pocket, we have the top seam of her shoulder. So like the stitching, you know, that goes across. I think that's what that is in here. And then we have her survey core crest on her shoulder just here. So we have a line straight down that way. And then back up into there. And you might be able to see some of the crosses and details in there, but not too much. There's like a box in here. Comes across and it's kind of folded in all weird ways, so you can't really make out much of it. You're just adding two boxes, say, on this side. Maybe with a sword going up towards the middle. This way. But again, you can't really see much. Because her uniform is folded in sort of weird ways, it's very difficult to make it out. So you just got to give a suggestion of it, kind of like that. And the very last thing we need to do is her other arm and some of her jacket sticking off the side of her head here so we'll do the jacket first so coming out from her scarf just here we'll do the line straight up comes across like so under goes underneath her hair we have a V for her lapel like this thing sticking out on this side it comes out like so and then the inside of her jacket it's like the pocket just there and maybe the top of it just we can see just here and that's blown in the wind sort of going off behind her so we can't see much of it down here so then her arm and her sword right so let's see so the top of her arm comes out from her hair just up here so we can see the sleeve of her uniform first so it comes to here and then curves around like so this is going to come back in underneath like so and it's going to go underneath her hair and in behind her head so it's going to go off that way and then it has a crease just here so her, her elbow is like behind her head she's like turned so so then her hand is grabbing her sword so her sword and she's got like that sort of handle on it and stuff which we will try her best so her hand comes out like so and then we have some bumps maybe for knuckles coming down across here and a finger that goes in behind the weapon the handle of the weapon just there and then this curves around to her thumb which is going around the other side of the weapon so this goes back up this way and back into her sleeve just there so now So this mechanism, so let's see, so we have, so we have the bottom of it sticking out like so, comes diagonal down this way, comes back in up here, 
take a little trigger and then this comes diagonal that way and then we go back up here so we're gonna go this direction like so and then this comes back in towards your finger back down this way and back up to here and then I think this has like a 3d sort of side to it like this I'm not sure though it's hard to see and then we've kind of a grid pattern coming across the top here like so one line there one line there one line there so kind of three of those then this comes up and around like this, down into there. We have a bolt sort of holding it on, and then there's like extra lines in here. It's the only way I can describe it, just extra lines. It's like just an extra ridge. And then we have a round section just sticking off, just here, like that. There's a bit of a dip in it here. And then we have that, um, it's like a brake from a bicycle brake. If you've cycled a, like a bike, it, it, it's, it's like a brake. It's the only the handle of a brake. So it comes up this way. And then it comes back that direction. And it comes around and it comes down into there. Now, so for the blade, you might want to use a ruler or a straight edge. So you want to go you want to go down this way and then over here. So, goes off the page, and then there might be like an extra line just coming up here just to show some darkness and a diagonal line along it, let's say, so the angle would be like that, I guess. Like so. And of course, there's a few of those that go, that go up and down the weapon, but you could do as many of them as you want. Might add maybe a bit of one, just say here, going off the page. Okay, so complicated one, but um, I hope it was helpful. Um, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.